It's my birthday. <laughs> well, <laughs> in two days, but it's his birthday weekend. Yeah. yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. This week, something a little bit special, something that yeah. we don't do often because it's very expensive. It is. But because it's my birthday, we decided to do it anyway. It was on our list, so... Here, Here we, we are. are. <laughs> so we are at the Solio Lodge from the Safari Collection. We just arrived after yeah. five hours of driving, getting lost, lost a little bit. Uh, but we're here now. Um, we're very hungry, so we're going to go eat first before showing you guys around because I think they're waiting for us. I think so too. Let's go. And yes, don't worry, we'll talk about prices, but at the end of the video, you know, I, I need to keep you guys watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been all around the world oh, Every city, every place oh, Always been a restless girl oh, But now there's a wind of change I've never ever felt this way So far it kind of feels like we're alone in this place It's nice <laughs> it, it is very quiet, I like it Yeah, so that's a nice view for lunch For lunch, they have like a little buffet style lunch. Very, very good. Yeah, the food is very, very good. I thought that this was like pesto, <laughs> but it's actually like chili puree or something. It's hot. Like it's it's hot. hot. But otherwise, we took a little bit of um, of everything just to show you guys, not because we want it all. <laughs> <laughs> So we just realized that we arrived, went straight to lunch and didn't really check in. So that was probably why we didn't have any information. Well, I was like, um, how do we arrange game drives? He's like, oh, just give me a second. <laughs> yeah, let me check you in. So now that we know, yeah. um, we're going to go show you guys the room because it's pretty cool. And then our next time is at 4 for tea and then 4.30 for game drive. Yeah. There you go. Already excited. <laughs> Welcome to our cottage. So when you first come in, to your left you have a living area space and actually right that I'm staring at, there's a fireplace. So I think around supper time or something, they're going to start the fire for us. And then you come over to your right and we have the master bedroom. So it's a nice king size bed and look at all the glass panels and doors. So you can open these up and we even have like little outdoor chairs and seating area and everything. I think that's super cool. We're gonna wake up to a beautiful sunrise. And then the bathroom, honestly, is as big as a whole main area. Like, you have a double sink, you have a toilet that you can see outside in. <laughs> but these two parts are my favorite. So we have a nice big tub, but right in front of the windows. So you can see everything that's going on and it's secluded so you don't have to worry about people seeing you. And then a shower to fit a full family. <laughs> this is definitely a cool shower. You can see animals through there while showering. And just in case the air is a little too chilly while you're in your bath or when you're having a shower, there's a fireplace in the bathroom. wine or your cup of coffee in the morning and when it's not too hot I guess you can see rhinos and you can see animals in the distance from here so it is now tea time so we're gonna go for that yeah eat a little bite and then after that we're gonna go for our first game drive with the Solio Lodge and I'm very excited because apparently there's what there's a hundred and forty rhinos here 140 I feel like 160 actually and they started off with I could be very wrong on this, but I think it was like 27 yeah. back in 1980. Yeah. I'll have to find the actual numbers later. Yeah. So within but. this conservancy, there is a lot of rhinos yeah. and rhino is pretty much the only thing we didn't see yet here in Africa. So yeah, 
fingers crossed and you get you get the ponchos yeah i got the ponchos <laughs> which i think is super cool yeah but it's very warm i'm not sure if we're gonna need them but maybe so when, the, when the sun goes down especially since we're very close to mount kenya it gets pretty cold yeah I really like it here. It's like the uh, the main lodge, basically like where you check in and everything. But there's like a fireplace. There's like couches everywhere. There's table to eat uh, behind me as well. There's actually there's, three fireplaces. And there's a, a Christmas tree. Some sort of Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> So we just parked and the rhinos are very very close mm -hmm. and now we're just enjoying a little glass of white wine for a sundowner. It's our first official sundowner. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So guys, we just came back from our first game drive here at Solio and it was great. Not only we, at first we wanted to see like, you know, one or two rhinos and we would have been like super happy. We saw 42, 42, 42. So that was great. A lot of rhinos, white and black too. The black one tried to charge at us. Yeah. <laughs> but, so we're driving back and it's dark and headlights and you see like, it sounds weird, but you see like a brown butt in the distance and you're like, oh, I thought it was just like a uh, gazelle or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. When you get closer, it's a freaking lion. And like a male, like a cool one. And like we followed it for, I'm not exaggerating. Like five to ten minutes. Oh, yeah. He slowed the truck right down. It just kept going yep. on the road. On the it road. It would like peak off sometimes and then realize when we were passing yeah. it, come back, go. It was super cool. That was a really nice seeing for sure my mind is blown yeah under the star too yeah and we came back here and have those little candles lit everywhere it's very nice it's very very nice. now we're gonna get ready for supper and see what they have mm -hmm. i'm hungry i'm always hungry i'm so happy <laughs> okay we change now supper let's go get something to eat <laughs> i lose my breath whenever i see you So we just came back from supper, which was really good. Very, very good. And they kept feeding us wine. <laughs> yeah, like non-stop. Like you're just not even halfway through your glass and they're like, top up? <laughs> you top have this up. much left. And you're like, oh, tomorrow? Is it? <laughs> sure, sure. <Yeah. laughs> so anyway, the food was yeah. amazing. Very good service and everything. We just came back to our room. We have a nice little fire going on. I know. It's just like perfect temperature in the room just a little chilly i think it's yeah. gonna we're gonna sleep just fine and to have a little fire on as we fall asleep i yeah. think it's gonna be so cozy so nice yeah. so cozy so cozy. <laughs> <It's a perfect laughs> and then it's tomorrow perfect. we wake up at seven go to breakfast at 7 45. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you skipped the most important point important point what is it <laughs> They come with coffee with the wake up call at 7 a.m. That's not the most important part oh. because coffee is disgusting. I am so excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll come and they'll give it a, a coffee to Tracy at 7. Then at mm -hmm. 7.45 we'll go to breakfast yeah. and not drink coffee there. And then at 8.30 we'll go for a morning game drive. Yeah, I assume we'll be back for lunch is what I think. Yeah. But I don't really know. And then fun activity in the, the afternoon that I've never did before. Well, I don't remember when. Yeah. It wasn't in a safari wild. setting. That's for sure. Yeah. You, you guys will see. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. So our wake up call came with 
fresh hot coffee <laughs> and I'm in heaven. <laughs> as soon as I went to the door, I could smell it. Are you ready soon? I'm trying, I really am. We're late. Every time we go like up north in Kenya, I always get shocked like how cold it can get. Like, I don't know why. It's still very nice though. So there's a nice little like cold buffet with cereals and fruits and juice and everything. And then you order like eggs and bacon and whatever you want. So that's coming up soon. So that was a nice little breakfast. And now, best part of the day, game drive. Let's do this. <laughs> that's next level safari guys. Like we're sitting on top of the truck right now. That's, that's pretty cool. Pretty excited. <laughs> because we're on top of the truck, we're like as tall as the giraffes. doing a quick little stop for tea and coffee. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Cool. The weather is amazing too. I know, the breeze is cool perfect but the sun is warm yeah. so it's, it's nice. Lovely, it's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> Let's go again. Thank you so much. So that was pretty fun. It was fun. Yeah, and the fact that we were able to like sit on top of the truck, that like that was a complete different experience. That was super cool. That was super fun. Even mm. though you have sunscreen though. We put yeah. on like every hour. Yeah, I'm pretty because sure. Because the I'm sun still... is so strong here. I need to get a higher SPF. Yeah. But it was worth it. And we saw a lot of rhinos again. I don't know and where you're going. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> we even saw a leopard very fast mm. once again the only time we were actually able to like caught it on camera was the video at the nairobi national park that i'm gonna link down below yeah but i'm never fast enough like they're so quick like you usually for me i always just see like the butt and the tail yeah that's it anyway so we are back to our little cottage I'm gonna relax a little and then go for lunch Here are a few fun facts about this place. Actually, earlier in the video, we said that they had like, you know, like a hundred something rhinos. Well, true story is in 1978, they had zero rhinos and then they brought eight male and eight females. And now they have over 500 white rhinos and 100 black rhinos. So yeah, 600 rhinos in this place. So that's why we see so many. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there is. So the property itself, they have five luxury cottages, and I believe two of them actually, they're family style, so they're a bit bigger. It is so nice. You feel kind of secluded, like you're not yeah. bumping over anyone. And even when you're in your own cottage, it's so quiet, and all you hear are the birds outside, the yeah. tree hyraxes. Yeah. Like, it, it feels very like exclusive. Yeah, it's very, very nice. And actually, we're the only ones here for the second time. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so it feels very, very exclusive. <laughs> so one thing I think is super neat about this place, which we've kind of noticed it in other places, but this one seems more 
prominent. Yeah. So they're trying to work on their carbon footprint. So you'll notice too when you go in the shower, it takes a little bit to get their hot water running because they heat it through like a wood fire. So while you have the shower on to get the hot water, you actually have put a bucket beneath and you yeah. can collect the cold water. So what they do after is they take that and they water their plants and things like that with it. And talking about that, they're actually growing most of like fruits and vegetables that they're yeah. serving in the restaurant. So that's pretty cool too because- You know it's fresh. And yeah, exactly. Super yeah. fresh and so far it's so good. Oh, and something else that is super neat. So they don't believe in plastic and everything like that, oh, which yeah. is fine. So they have like their glass bottles in the rooms and they're just refillable. There's no yep. branding or anything, but you know it's good water. But when you go on your Safari game drives, you have your own water bottle, but it's a reusable water bottle and yep. they write your name on it. So at the very end of the trip, you get to take it home. It's a very nice souvenir. Yeah, souvenir and saving plastic. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> so this camp is actually carbon positive. So they're actually like outsetting their footprint, which yeah. is very nice. So now we have another little adventure coming up. Um, we're <laughs> gonna go do a safari like never before. No. And, and I haven't done this <laughs> in at least 15 years. Same for me and never in a safari setting. I feel like we're gonna be sore tomorrow. Possible. Using muscles that we forgot existed. Possible. So we're gonna go uh, take a bath <laughs> in sunscreen and yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go do this thing. I'm excited. Coming up. <laughs> what I'm doing but I think I'm doing it well. That was cool and it was cool because we were able to like get super close to zebras too yeah. because like normally when you go with a car <laughs> I guess they're just scared they right? To go too close to them. Yeah we're yeah. pretty close they didn't seem to be as scared as like uh, a horse than yeah. a car right now let's go for another drive because they're fun they're fun so much better up here I love it <laughs> Back on the top of the truck. It's time to get cozy with a safari collection poncho. They really are good though. Yeah. Like they cover your legs. They cover your shoulders. <laughs> Me, I'm too Canadian to be cold. I'm Canadian too. Nah. I'm not cold. I'm just cozy. <laughs> So after a nice little ride, it's time for another sundown. Okay, I put my poncho on uh, after all. You were cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark now. The sun's down. It's kind of it's kind of chilly. That was a great sundown. It was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Our guide's awesome too. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah So that was a great day. Still wearing my little poncho. It was a little chilly on top of the truck at the end, oh, but it was so cool. The horseback riding, saw a lot of animals again. Two drives today. Yeah. I Black mean, rhinos decided to 
chase us in the yeah dark. yeah did but it was too dark to film but we had like a black rhino and like a smaller kind of calf maybe yeah. running after the truck that was pretty funny, was pretty funny. <laughs> so now we're gonna change we're gonna head out for supper probably leave the camera behind this time because it's, so. it's my birthday supper and so. we're gonna dress up and we're gonna have a yeah. date night i'm sure i'm gonna still show you guys the food real quick but uh you know <laughs> so tomorrow morning we're gonna obviously give our full review and obviously talk about prices i know you guys want to know about prices all the time so yeah see you then i look into your eyes i see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high Good morning guys, once again we are very sad because we gotta leave a place we do not want to leave we fell in love with this place and honestly I think I did more than I thought I would. Yeah, it's it's very nice. So overall, like we loved everything. Like the food yeah. was great, the staff and everything, like just as expected, like this place mm -hmm. is part of the safari collection and we have been to the Giraffe Manor, yeah. link down below, uh, and we expected the same kind of standard and we have no complaint when we went there. Um, and it's, it's just as great here, except there's not the same amount of giraffes. And my wake up call comes with coffee delivered right to my door. Yeah, Tracy loves that. Won me over, yeah. just saying. <laughs> so if you have never ever seen rhinos, this is definitely mm. the place where you can come and be guaranteed to see a very large amount of them. <laughs> yeah, and have sundowners with them. Like yes. one last night literally came like 25 meters away from us. Not even, yeah. And we didn't we're seem just to standing care. There. And the, the guy was like, oh yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see rhinos, you got to come to Solio, that's for sure. Yeah. But uh, overall, there's a lot of other animals, uh, as you guys saw in the video, like giraffes and buffaloes and antelope, and there's even lions. Mm -hmm. um, so no, it's a very, very nice place to do a safari drive. Uh, you keep the same driver the entire time, which makes it very nice. It does. Um, and ours was really, really good. John, right? Yeah, it's very good. So overall, we loved it here and we highly recommend it, even though uh, it's a very, very high-end price. It's worth the experience to come, don't get me wrong. Would we come often? No. Absolutely not. Not at all. It's too expensive for that. Like we said, it was David's birthday. Happy birthday, it's your birthday Thank today. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was his birthday. So normally on our birthdays or anniversaries, we tend to splurge a little. Yeah, Those I are the only that. times that we go a little bit above. Yeah. So for but that, I recommend. <laughs> but it's definitely not an every month or every no. week kind of thing at all because we would go broke. Yeah. So how much is it to come here? That's the big question. So. For our cottage, we didn't get a family cottage or anything like that. Uh, one bedroom cottage. It is, in US, fully inclusive, $1,045 per person. $1,045 per person per night. US, that is a lot of money. Uh, and on top of that, you gotta pay the, uh, the park fees. Those were actually more expensive than I Thought because it's a private conservancy so when she said the rate I was like oh <laughs> and those are also per person per night per person per night for the fees you're looking at an extra $95 US per person per night yeah which honestly I I think they should include those in your rates because your rates are so inclusive like it has airstrip transfers if you want. You can go to the Abadir. Mind you, you have to pay the park fees there. You can go on walking safaris, horseback riding, mountain yeah. biking. Again, all your meals, alcohol included. Yeah. So why not include the fees in that and just have the lodge take it out? I yeah. think that would be better. Yeah. And don't worry guys, like that's not the price we paid. Like obviously we got, we found a really good deal with, uh, yeah. with Phoenix Safaris. We're just giving you all the, the prices according to their website. Yeah. Um, now they also have like resident rate obviously which are 
so much cheaper still expensive but so much cheaper it's actually less than half so the resident rate is actually 43,000 Kenyan shillings per person per night like I said that's less than half yeah um, and they also have resident rates on the park fees as well so for the resident rate for the fees to get into the Conservancy is 4,000 Kenyan shillings per person per night so again you're looking at less than half yeah yeah. which is and that's phenomenal. that's the same situation in any national park yeah. any conservancy across kenya if you have the resident rate it's mm -hmm. normally like a few dollars yeah compared this one was to fairly. yes but like if you compare to like you know nairobi national park or whatever oh, yeah. the first time uh, we went and paid like 80 us dollars or something oh, yeah. to go in which if you are a resident you pay like six, six dollars <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> but I don't it's just like that. Yeah. I don't say that in a bad way. Like I understand that they run off tourism. Yeah, yeah. So sure. I get it. It is what it is. Yeah. It's just frustrating for us sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So I highly encourage you to go watch the giraffe manor if you want to see another place that's very comparable to, to this place. It was lovely. Uh, <laughs> it was. And otherwise, uh, it's going to be time for us to pack because we have almost four hours drive back home to Nairobi. That's without traffic, so we'll see what traffic. There's no traffic here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. That bird is annoying. Shh. Shh. Oh, that's an annoying bird. I'm so close to that giraffe right now that I can I can hear it chew. <laughs> this is how close we are. Oh no, I'm very